When you first see this photo, it seems like an obvious Photoshop. Well, mushrooms cannot physically reach this size. The lifespan of fruiting bodies is short. They don't have enough nutrition. And pests will eat them sooner. Termites in Africa grow giant mushrooms that feed entire families. However, these mushrooms are not so simple. They grow to such gigantic sizes because they are cultivated by termites. Fake pictures of giant insects and plants regularly appear on the internet. The most famous of the fakes is a 1937 photo of a giant grasshopper. As far as mushrooms go, they are indeed the largest organisms in the world. But we're talking about mycelium, a fungus that can grow hundreds of meters or even kilometers. The record holder is found in the United States. It covers 37 hectares, and the mycelium weighs over 400 tons. Scientists estimate its age at 2.5 thousand years, but the ground part of this monster does not suffer from gigantism. These are common beach mushrooms. However, there really is a giant mushroom in nature, the ground part of which grows to an impressive size. The caps of these mushrooms grow to a meter in diameter, and their stems are 50 to 60 centimeters long. The weight of an average mushroom is 2 kilograms. And this mushroom is edible, and in Zambia several of these mushrooms can feed a family for a week. And in Cameroon, these mushrooms are used to make paste. Scientists didn't learn about this mushroom until 1980. It was a popular product in African markets, though. It's called Termitomyces tetanicus, and it is a symbiotic. The fact is that on their own, these fungi cannot survive in the wild. They need a lot of nutrients to grow to gigantic proportions. And they eat only what termites bring them, termites. Termites help these mushrooms grow by bringing them partially digested leaves and wood. The termites, on the other hand, feed on the special outgrowths of the fungus. When some termites leave to establish a new colony, they take some of the spores with them to create a mushroom plantation in the new place. Termitomyces tetanicus will not be able to feed itself anyway. It's like corn, it won't survive in the wild, it needs to be cultivated by termites. For most of the year, termitomyces exist as mycelium. And during the rainy season, their fruiting bodies begin to grow dramatically. Termites are indifferent to the fruiting bodies of mushrooms, and people willingly collect them near termites. The mushroom is considered very tasty, but it spoils quickly. Therefore, it should be cooked and eaten as soon as collected or canned.